Hi guys, I thought I'd just show, quickly show you this. Um, at the end of this I have my Titan IC, uh, 69C and 383L. Um, and this is basically the new test app uh, I'm working on. So let's run this. You'll hear the click of the 383L. Right, so you've got them appearing here. Now, when you double click, um, it will take an image immediately, as you can see here. Um, you can double click on this and you can do a few things such as play around with the you know, uh, contrast. Um, you can also, for example, do the sharpening here as well. Um, now, what I'm also going to show you is the fact that this little window off the side um, allows you to set, for example, the speed. So if I put um, 0 0.1. Uh, yeah, 0 0.1 and uh, if I put into live view it will then start doing live views so this is actually doing a live view if I turn the Titan around you can see that the image is changing so if I put the image there took it away is there so it's blinking a little bit but that's simply because it's running in the um, more computationally expensive uh, way of doing uh, an image allows you to edit it and to, to do things like that. Anyway, so whilst we leave that in its live view mode, why don't we just switch over to the 383L. Um, so what I've done is it'll take a camera image immediately of a second just to verify that the camera is actually working. In the meantime, in the background, the actual Titan is still working. So there's the Titan working. It's still taking the photos, it's just running in the background. Um, and this one is also doing, you know, it's just taking its photo, so we can scroll around, you can see here, it's uh, quite a, a large image. Um, and if I zoom out, oops, if I zoom out, there we go, see it's quite a large image, so it's taken the, you can see there's a gradient here, and that's simply because it's pointing at the door, um, which has got some light coming in. So if I double click on here and do some sharpening, for example, you can see that it will apply the same thing to here as well and you can change the uh, brightness for example and a few other bits and pieces um, I might keep this mode and might change it but for the moment we'll we'll just you know we'll just set it up to go for a three second exposure and we'll set that off on live view too so so now we've got two things running in live view so we've got this one running here still um, and this one is running you can see it's blinking every so often bang 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 and this one here is also running as well. And this is running a three second exposure. You can see it goes boom every so often. Now if we run to our little 16IC, uh, and it's gonna do a, a little bit of a download first, the same again, there we go. You can see that it's got some image, uh, you've got some uh, noise there. Um, and so you can see the noise that's appeared from, from the, the camera. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set that off as well. So we're gonna give it a, Let's give it a, a, a one second image and we're gonna we're gonna tell it to live view as well. So you know the only thing is with this is USB one so it's a little slower on the old uptake. So you can see here that we've now got three cameras all working in parallel in basically in a live view um, mode. Now interestingly enough underneath that there's a capture sequence button and that will actually capture sequences of the uh, images in the same way for every single one of these. Um, so there we go. Um, I haven't done the uh, filter wheel bit just yet, but this now runs 100% uh, multi-threaded. So um, as you can see, also when you plug in, it does the initializations all, all multi-threaded and 100% sort of uh, simultaneously. So there we go. Um, still got a little bit more to do, a few other bits and pieces. At the moment, for example, if I pull a plug on this, like that, you can see it went blue there, which is the 383L, uh, the uh, 16IC, um, you know, you're missing out. You'll see that it basically stops, but it doesn't actually do much more than that. Um, and it doesn't remove them from here. Well, that's simply because I hadn't done the removal part of it yet and the drivers and those will be coming along the beta anyway so at the moment you can capture and you can uh, you can set up some uh, sequences and other bits and pieces now what it will do is in the background in your backdrop um, it will put in a something called uh, ASX driver version or drivers log here you double click on it it's just a normal text file and what it will have 
going to be a big one because I've been running lots and lots of images. So, meanwhile, let me just try running this on a open this up on a different thing. Uh, okay, let me try and run it with text edit. Probably going to be a bit faster. You can see what it is um, in a second uh, when it finally loads up. I have a sneaking suspicion this is probably a couple of meg somewhat. Um, let me just find out how big this thing is. But you can see here, for example, this is just telling me these here were telling me that the uh, um, that the thing had uh, failed each time it tries to take an image, and it has an unplug. So if I switch this off now, you can see um, here. Inside the log, you can see all the images that have been captured, as in when it takes photos and it's trying to take photos, etc. So this is all that's in this log. So you know this is the stuff that I'd be interested in if something appears and it's not correct or something like that, especially with new cameras that I haven't actually tried. Um, this is what I'm really looking for. Um, so you know there's lots of information in here which tells you about whether it's sub, you know, binning and subframe, etc which camera it's on um, and all the rest of it. And you can see this one here is a very very long log so um, especially when you do things like this and unplug which it knows it notices the actual transport and the actual driver knows that it's unplugged so there's just a little bit more that needs to be written to, to, to bring that in. So there we go. I thought I might give you an overview.